Outside the temple, Latter-day Saints chant in the angelic tongue. They do so by saying Amen at the end of prayers, by singing Amen and Amen and Hosanna in Him, and by shouting a triple Amen and Hosanna as part of the Hosanna shout at the dedication of temples. The practice changes, however, in temples. In temples, the chants are not in the angelic tongue, but in the primeval language of Adam. This dichotomy begs the following questions. Why the difference in practice? What is the relationship between the tongue of angels and the language of Adam, if any? By all accounts, both within the LDS Church and in Christianity at large, there was an original language, called the language of Adam, or the Adamic language. It was the language spoken by Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Elder Bruce R. McConkie wrote in his Mormon Doctrine that the language of Adam was far superior to the human languages of today and was the first language spoken by mankind. Apostle Orson Pratt taught that the language of Adam continued in its purity until the confusion of tongues at the Tower of Babel. Elder Pratt likely based his opinion on the Genesis account, which records that, at the time of the Tower, there was only one language among the people on earth. There is considerable disagreement as to the nature of the language. Elder McConkie, as we have noted, believed it to be the celestial tongue of the gods, or at least an adaptation of the tongue of gods. Joseph Fielding Smith believed it to be the language of the Most High and the angels. Some believe that it may have been an invention of Adam, citing the Genesis account of his naming the animals. It is Adam that invents the names of the animals and not God. Jewish tradition holds that Adam spoke Hebrew, arguing that Eve's names only make sense in Hebrew. The angels speak Hebrew as well. Yet all these claims and opinions are fraught with contradictions and are largely based upon unfounded assumptions or misreadings of the scriptural texts. 